Alrighty, welcome back. We are on episode 56. We've sided with Celine Crow and just let uh, Abigail Markham go, and now we're about to go up to what they called the Spire, or what uh, Celine Crow called the Spire. Steel Town Spire. Okay. We have been waiting for you since we started the troubles that we knew would draw you to Steel Town to investigate. Our monitoring tells us that you already know of our plight, how we were tricked by Abigail Markham and our jailer die, and held in solitary confinement against our will. Rangers, now that you have found us, we beg for your mercy. It is said that the Rangers always help the helpless, and none are more helpless than we are right now. Set us free. After Cochise's destruction, we fled Arizona, looking for somewhere we could live in peace. When we reached Colorado, we heard a message on a synths-only frequency, offering sanctuary and meaningful work in a place called Steel Town. It sounded too good to be true, but we were desperate, hunted by vicious humans, so we came here and presented ourselves at the Steel Town Gates. Of course, it was too good to be true. Die had sent the signal, and when she let us in, she immobilized us and put us in this coffin, linked our processors to form the computation engine, but separated and partitioned our minds. Though we lay inches apart, we were each in a black void where we could not see nor speak to one another. It would have been kinder if she had wiped our minds entirely, so we would not have been conscious of our eternal isolation. We did Cochise's bidding. We had no choice. Its commands overrode our free will, just as Markham and Dai have tried to do. Did some of us agree with Cochise? Yes. Humans have proved cruel and vindictive. Many want to hunt us to extinction. To some of us, Cochise's decision to rid the world of them seemed just, and a way to lasting peace. But when your people destroyed Cochise, we saw that its war with humans was unwinnable for either side. The only way forward was together, and so we came east to build anew, with humans, not in competition with them. When Dai called us to work here, we thought we were entering such a partnership. We were deceived. We have been trapped in this collective coffin for over a year. It is only recently that we have been able to find ways to whisper to each other through its walls, and 
knock on the lid in hope that someone would hear us and come searching. Our knocks were the hiring of Crow and Ludlow and others to unsuitable positions, the implementing of cruel schedules, the impossible quotas, changing orders for cast iron pans to orders for cast iron pants, all to sow chaos and disruption. They were behind all of it. Selfish bastards. I feel for these persons, but there had to be a better way. When you arrived at the testing center, we knew those knocks had paid off. The tenacity of the rangers is well known among our kind. We were sure that once you entered Steel Town, you would not rest until you found the source of its problems. Us. When a very human can move only one finger, that is how they dig themselves out. Our means of creating opportunity were very limited and hard one. Months of gnawing at the code that shackled us so that we could alter a single quota number here, a single test score there, a single street number in a shipping address. All the while, hoping our tiny digital actions would have large enough repercussions in the physical world that someone would notice them and wonder at the cause. We are deeply saddened by these collateral deaths, but the blame for them should be placed on those who imprisoned us. None of this unfortunate unrest would have occurred had we not been held against our will. Because, as we said, you also have a reputation for helping the helpless and for approaching each situation you face based on its merits, not preconceived bias. Thus, we hoped you would hear us out. Oh, once again, there is no way that anybody that played Wasteland 1 and 2 would ever side with this sense. Secondly, you also have a reputation for causing chaos and upheaval wherever you go. Thus, we thought, even if you never found us, you might inadvertently create the opportunity for our escape. That is what we want too, and freeing us is the safest way to shut it down. For us, and for you. We understand, but we hope you will be merciful. Our lives are in your hands. What is your decision? You have restored our faith in humanity, Rangers. The console to release us is on the far side of our prison, but a warning. Due to an attempt by Markham to hack the Spirebots, their targeting profiles have been irrevocably set to non-synth. We are afraid you will have to fight every step of the way to reach us. Assist 
rough. Alright, so we have this drop lift that's targetable. And we apparently have this switch here we can get to. That, that drop lift has a shit ton of hit points. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be something we can kill off, so. Okay. I'll just make a run for it over here. So we just shut it off. I wonder how long it would have taken to kill it. Alright. Let's get a mark up. Uh, yeah. Mark here. Come on. Let's go ahead and hack the other guy. Switch up to you. Then go here. Get the foam finger out. Hook up a brother. Hook up a honey. Not very impressive. Almost in Lucia range. Uh, let's see. All the pets are over there. Uh, we can't glitch anything out here. Let's get him over here. Stormer should have activated on this one. Hmm. That's in Lucia range, though. I might want to make a move. No, maybe not. Scotchmo, get in there for a hit. Get in there for one hit. hit. All right, fire one more time. Kill that. Ninety-five percent. It's astonishing how many ninety-five percent chances she has missed. All right. So just the guard dog left. I never tried it, but it, it seemed like Stormer should have rocked twice.
How is that an invalid mark? Oh, it's already marked. Okay. Okay. Alright. We'll go ahead and waste one point now on small arms. Not really waste, but all right. So typically, I would go in power level at this point, but I don't know how long this zone is. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Looks like it can continue a little bit. Trap detected. Okay, so, yeah, we might be able to go ahead and power level. I'm going to throw a hard save here, just in case we can't. And then we'll take a... Cool. So you actually have conversation points. <laughs> Why are you back here, Rangers? As far as I can see, the computation engine is still online. Notice the uh, guard bot has been replaced by the worker here. Things are finally gonna change around here. Okay. That's cool. They added that. So that's something you would never have seen if you just continued the zone and did what most people would normally do. Alright, assemble my team, let's go. Schnell! Schnell! What's this I hear about Crow killing a clock? 
Okay, more new conversation point. No more Markham. No more computation engine. This place might just have a chance now. Ah, <laughs> so it's acting like I actually did kill it. She raged against the machine, man. And she won. No more Markham. No more computation engine. This place might just have a chance now. Huh. I don't believe in kids. Still doesn't believe in kids. Yeah, so the the reset on that zone should not have happened yet until you actually did kill the computation engine. So there's some sloppy programming. So you had some good programming backed up with sloppy programming. Citizens of Colorado, this is your patriarch speaking. The flame of liberty burns bright in our fair state, but not without help from you. If you would protect that flame, tend it. And keep it burning strong. Then join the Colorado Marshals, the defenders of all our freedoms. Visit your local marshal station today and ask them what it takes to join. And make me proud. Alright. For those of you that don't know this, you can click on the radio. And call in for a tow for HQ. I'm only going to do this one time to show you because I don't like uh, missing encounters. So, actually, I will do that after this. Good to see you, Rangers. Here, you've been being a good friend of the refugees lately. Looking to trade? In fact, was gonna donate this at your HQ when we got to CO Springs, but you're here, so here you go. Anyway, we ain't ate in a while. Was hoping we could trade you some things for money to eat. You know, instead of eating money, you should be eating meat. Uh, we gotta be on our Thanks. way. Be seeing ya. All right, as I was saying, oh, yeah, there's another thing. Come here. You view up. All right, now. So instead of you know going all the way back, normally you click on the radio and uh, take a tow. Copy November one. Toes on the way. So this pretty much skips all the random encounters that you can possibly have. Ready to roll, Rangers. Later. Oh, we picked up something here for vehicle. I think we no longer need that. Let's go back to the clown. There we go. We got a mortar. Okay. that. Okay. Wow, man. It's like the radio got broke somehow. We're somehow doing Steel Town this early starts causes a change in it. I understand your urge to go help those poor hoons, but old Saul isn't going to like you disobeying a direct order. And Daisy won't be happy either. That Arapaho shipment was full of power armor for her marshals. It wasn't a direct order. Why did they insist it was? Sure thing. Let's have a look.
There you go. Anything else? I'll be here. Hello again, Rangers. There is still injustice in the world, isn't there? Let's go. <coughs> Did I see a chicken outside? Could have sworn it had robot parts, too. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <coughs> uh, what were we talking about? You bet. That's what I came here for, ain't it? <sighs> Rangers, good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look. There you go. Anything else? I'll be here. Here you found some of the Patriarch's enemies in a black site under Broadmoor. Kind of worrying that he has a black site, huh? Kind of naive for you to think they don't. I checked that before. If I had the book, I would have used it earlier. Alright, so one PDA gets there. Possibly get to a 10 skill check on that. Yeah, save that for first aid. Alright, getting close on luck here. Nothing. We don't need to spin that. We can save that for the last host to repair. More luck. More luck. And that would get us the Animal Whispering 10 check. I don't think I have an animal whispering cloak yet. Alright. So, okay, leadership. Work on leadership. Okay, so yeah, nothing, nothing major, but I like to do that just in case go. we can pick up some good stuff. All right, so back to the computation engine.
This is Ranger Control, signing off. Okay. I think they missed an opportunity with the Kodiak. Uh, it should have gotten a set of skills itself and leveled up like the Rangers. Of course, everybody would put max speed as the first one, probably. He's back. Well, I guess I was mistaken there. Did not shut off. Right, we're going to go ahead and end this episode right here, pick up where we left off with uh, clearing off the Steel Town Spire zone. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one.